Hello, good evening my friends. Welcome back to Sprint for 12th board exam. I'm sure you're having fun here. Uh, so to, to the newcomers, welcome to my classes. For the old students here, uh, welcome back. So let's get started today with the agenda. So you might have already seen this schedule. So today's day number seven, that's ray optics. So let's get started with ray optics today. For the students who do not know me, my name is Bhavdeep Singh. I'm a physics master teacher with Vedantu. Uh, I love you all. I love kids. I love physics and I love teaching physics to all my dear kids. So let's get started here. Uh, before we get started, make sure you have subscribed to the YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you can you can get the notifications about the upcoming awesome uh, courses here. We have a big plans for many courses upcoming here. Make sure you also share the knowledge with your friends as in you share this YouTube channel so that they can also take advantage of the, the great free knowledge available here. So please spread the word out. Now strategy as always is going to be simplification. Right. Whatever derivations, numericals and calculations, anything you thought are difficult, we are going to make them simple for you. So that is the key to any board exam. As I have said many times, you try to simplify things. It looks like in NCRT book or other books, mein, it's such a big deal. It's such a big deal. Behind the scenes, it has to be not more than three lines or maybe maximum five or six lines of strategy planning over there. Uske baad you can write whatever you want. That is always the strategy. Whenever I do derivations maximum five lines of se jada nahi karna jada se jada do teen line mein koshish karo five se jada nahi road map ki ye karunga fir ye karunga fir ye karunga and then you can write all the steps it might be 20 lines or maybe 50 lines it depends on you but basically the approach is not more than five lines so first of all again I'm going to repeat the same thing why are the board exams important because 75% marks needed if you're trying to get into NIT or IIT or uh, centrally funded technical institutes for engineering for medical students 50% in physics chemistry biology that's needed in addition that's more important than above two concepts. We are here to learn physics. Good part with board exams is you learn derivations. You learn all the things in detail that you do not learn when you're doing competitive exam because my shortcut chahiye, hai na? So these things clear your concepts and they're going to help you throughout your life, not just in your career, but also maybe many times in life. So make sure you give enough importance to your board exam. So let's start with today's agenda. Today's agenda is for 14 marks combined with the next session that's coming up tomorrow. So today we are doing ray optics, ray optics plus wave optics is going to be 14 marks. The best part here with ray optics, you have already studied that in grade 10th. Many of the things are already done there. We are going more details there, but, but it's going to be easy for you. Now again, what should be the strategy to learn this chapter? All the derivatives, derivations have to be done. Ray diagrams, bold me likha mein, ray diagrams must hai. Because ray diagrams, you can visualize things pehle baat ho. Dusra, ray diagrams are going to help you a lot. NCERT back exercises, as always, for board exam, NCERT back exercises, all the questions, no exception, uh, even the, the additional questions in there. Solutions nahi dekhna, try to do it yourself. Maybe you can take a little help or try to compare it, but try to complete all the back exercises yourself. Past year question papers, paas saal ke, kam se kam. Make sure that you do them yourself and then you try to match it with the marking scheme or the sample answers given in on Vedantu.com. Go to Vedantu.com, download the papers, download the solutions. Pahle papers karne, fir solutions dekne. So what is the right way to do this chapter? As I always do with my past um, um, sessions, what is the best and easiest way to make sure you master this? First of all, you master the ray diagrams. Ray diagrams, two reasons. First of all, exam if question aage, ray diagrams, if you come, if you don't come, then you will zero mark. Aise, tum trial and error. error nahi Secondly, ray diagram is more like a visual way to learn ray optics. Once you master the ray diagrams, you don't need to learn anything else, you will do it yourself. So master all the ray diagrams here. Now let's get started with the first question here. I'm going to move out here so that you can read the question. How does the angle of minimum deviation of a glass prism vary if the incident violet light is replaced with, with red light? Give a reason. Hai na, itna kuch likha hai, kya prism bhi aa gaya, isme color of light aa gai, ab wavelength dekhni hai, kya dekhni hai, ye icon bata raha hai ki isme kuch bhi nahi hai, this question is a piece of cake. 
all you do is look at the the formula for angle of minimum deviation right in in the case of a glass prism the refractive index is given by this expression now they're saying how will the angle of deviation change if you replace the light with a different color violet light thi ab red light kar de dekho angle of prism same hai isse a se farak nahi padta aur sin kya hota hai when angle goes up more sin is more as the angle increases sin theta increases unlike cos which is the other way now think about compare violet light and red light now this thing something you already have to know red light is huge violet is tiny hai na now for red light what's the refractive index compared to the violet light it's less remember the speed of red light is more than violet refractive index is the speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in medium because speed of light is or the speed of red is more its refractive index is less uski refractive index less ho gayi to fir dt bhi less ho gaya simple logic banana hai isko ke speed red ki zyada hai तो रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स कम है रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स कम है तो डेविएशन कम है हो गया खत्म काम अब देख लो उसको लिखना कैसे है पहले देखो कितने मार्क्स का क्वेश्चन है वन मार्क क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ सैंपल आई मीन यू कैन फ्रेम योर ओन आंसर्स योर वे दिस इज जस्ट अ सैंपल हाउ यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट नो रटिफिकेशन नो मेमोराइजेशन नीडेड यू जस्ट प्रेजेंट इट इन योर ओन वर्ड इन योर ओन वे Why does the sun appear red as at sunlight, sunrise and sunset? सुबह देखो तो ऑरेंज या रेडिश दिखता है दिन में वाइट हो जाता है Now this question, even though it has been asked in the past in board exam for twelfth, the concept here comes from tenth grade. Remember what did we study in that? Think about कैसे relate करोगे इसको scattering of light. What is scattering of light? Light is traveling and the light hits the particles kaun se particles particles the gas particles the air molecules jo atmospheric gases hai uske particles ko splash karega think about water jet going in raste mein ek stone aa gaya us stone se rock se water splash ho jayega hai na main isko main dikhana cha raha hu what do i want to say kyunki you can visualize that way let's say there is a stream of water going this way and let's say there is a stone here the water is going to splash out splash ho jayega now suppose there is a big stream of water and there is a tiny stone there the stream of water says i do not care kyunki itna chhota sa stone hai yaar now visualize the violet light violet theek hai yahan pe air molecule aa gaya splash ho jayegi scatter around but now think of the red light रेड लाइट इतनी बड़ी है फॉर दैट द एयर मॉलिक्यूल इज नथिंग इट डजेंट स्प्लैश एंड दैट इज वॉट स्कैटरिंग इज ऑल अबाउट द लाइट विल बी स्कैटर्ड वेन द वेव लेंथ इज रफली द साइज ऑफ द पार्टिकल इट इज हेटिंग इफ द वेव लेंथ इज टू बिग वेव डज नॉट केयर एंड दैट इज द की फॉर द स्काई बींग ब्लू ऑल्सो Now what happens in this case is violet, blue, and all these wavelengths are tiny, and these wavelengths are going to be scattered. They will be scattered. अब क्या होगा कि जब इसको और एक बार देख लो मैं इसको क्लीन करके दिखा देता हूँ फिर से नो थिंक अबाउट इट एंड दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम योर टेंथ ग्रेड एक्चुअली ये अर्थ है है ना यहाँ पे सन है नून सन नो वेन यू टॉक ऑफ अर्ली मॉर्निंग और लेट आफ्टरनून सन थिंक अबाउट द रेज ऑफ लाइट दे आर गोइंग टू ट्रेवल सो मच इन एटमोसफियर दिमाग में इस बात को बिठाओ दिस इज एटमोसफियर दिस इज प्लेन जियोमेट्री दिस इज नॉट इवन फिजिक्स सो द अमाउंट ऑफ path the the length of the path that they are traveling in atmosphere total path same hai but they are traveling more in the atmosphere more traveling in atmosphere means more scattering violet indigo blue vibrio aa rahi thi violet indigo blue scatter ho gayi on the way they don't reach you so what reaches you is red orange yellow and that's what you see and here is a sample how you write the answer it's a one mark question so this is a sample that you can write पहले उसको समझोगे कर क्या रहे हो क्या रहा है एंड देन फ्रेम योर आंसर योर सेल्फ ओके दूसरा क्वेश्चन आ गया वन मार्क क्वेश्चन 
Why does the critical angle depend on the color of light? पहले तो critical angle क्या है? There is a derivation or there is more explanation coming up at the end of this uh, today's session about critical angle. Now critical angle क्या है? Total internal reflection में if you do remember. So what happens in the case of critical angle? Light is traveling from denser to rarer medium. Let me explain that. Uh, so that's let's say there is a denser medium here and there is a rarer medium here. Light is traveling. Light bends away from normal. Now what's going to happen that as you increase the angle of incidence, angle of refraction keeps increasing. Right? Now for a certain, so if you keep increasing this incidence angle, angle of refraction keeps increasing. The what might happen is for a certain angle of incidence, ye itna bad gaya ke 90 ho gaya. And that is really interesting because if you increase it any further, wo 90 se bhi jada ho jayega. Think again, angle of refraction is more than angle of incidence because denser to rarer. Now you keep increasing I, R keeps increasing. For a certain value of I, this R is going to be 90 degrees and that 90 degrees is special. And for that angle of refraction of 90 degrees, we call this angle of incidence critical angle. Because any more than critical angle, it is going to be total internal reflection. So let's clean up the whiteboard and think again what happened just now. So what happened just now is, uh, let's write it one more time. So what happens is there is a denser medium, there is a rarer medium. And let's say this is normal here and for a certain angle, let's call it theta critical. This is Snell's law, that's all. This is not more than Snell's law. For this angle of critical angle, the angle of refraction has become 90 degrees. Now let's suppose this rarer medium is actually air. So let's suppose this is mu of denser medium and let's say this is not air, mu of rarer medium. Now if you have correctly understood the Snell's law, the best way to write Snell's law is mu times sine of theta is a constant. So mu denser, so let's write mu d times of sine theta c is equal to mu rarer times sine of 90. That is required, the definition is. Now it's saying why does it depend on the color of light? Wo answer abhi mil jayega. Answer kaise mil jayega? Suppose wo air tha. Toh simple kar deta hume. Kyunki many students will get confused with mu r and all that. So mu r was also 1. And a sin theta was 1. This comes out to be, or, or you can write it the other way. Let's say sin of theta critical is equal to 1 by mu d. Or theta critical is arc sin of 1 by mu d. Now, now think again, critical angle mu d inversely proportional lag raha hai, hai Agar more mu ho ga, to critical angle kam ho jayega, right? Us tarah se lag raha hai. To violet ke liye critical angle kam ho jayega, red ke liye critical angle jyada ho jayega. Bas ye, ye hi to baat ho rahi color ki. Because color decides this refractive index. We spoke about this in today's class. Red has more speed and that's why it has less refractive index. Less refractive index, more critical angle. Ho gaya bas strategy ban gaya, ab lik do usko. Let's see. So, ye, ye main batana cha tha, right? so, so let's look at this beautiful picture here. So there is there is water here, there's air here. Light at zero degrees will go straight. Light at some angle, let's say 20 degrees, will bend thoda sa. Hana, light at 30 degrees bending more. This is all Snell's law happening here. Light, so look at how if the incidence angle is increasing, refraction angle is increasing. At a particular angle that has been calculated using the formula that I derived at 48.8 degrees, exactly 90 degrees ho gaya iska. So that is why this angle 48.8 is called the critical angle for water and air combination. Now anything more, 60 is more than this, you look at it. It's a, it's, it's basically it's coming back and this is called total internal reflection. I'm going to talk more about it in one of the upcoming questions. So let's see how you can frame the answer. This is again one of the sample answer. You do not memorize them. You write it in your own words. Basically, if you can not remember this expression, that's all right, but you're supposed to, right? But then at least you know that lambda and mu are inversely proportional. So red is big wavelength. It has less refractive index. Now, next question. Ye, ye, ye aa gaya dekho, ye. Ye bol raha hai ki it's an ultra easy question. Read the question. I'm going to give enough time on this to understand the question. So there are two parts. Overall, this is three mark question. 
so we'll do step by step so let's start with first part here very easy question is me teen cheeze involved hai. velocity frequency wavelength and this is something you really have to understand ek cheez master kar lo baki sab easy ho jayega there are three things frequency velocity wavelength frequency my friends depends on the source of the wave we are not talking about light here we are talking about any wave ek rope li tumne or oh, let's say i'm speaking i'm i am the source of the sound wave here i decide to talk in a heavy voice or a lighter voice i decide the frequency of my voice i am the source i decide air is the medium here air decides the speed of that so medium will decide the velocity or wavelength fir accordingly adjust ho jayegi the point here is when i have spoken the speed of sound is 330 meters per second pani rakh diya samne pani will say the water will say i'm going to make the speed as 1500 meters per second but no frequency will not change if the velocity has increased the wavelength will decrease accordingly if you keep this in mind this question is very easy because this is where most of the students make mistake and that is why this is my favorite question i want to make sure everybody does it right here favorite in the sense there are many mistakes i have seen with my past students and i do not want you to repeat them please frequency decided by the source ek bar maine bol diya bol diya main bhag ke wahan ja ke i'm not going to change the frequency of my voice Okay, this is the key to this question. So let's try to understand how we can do this. Monochromatic light, uski wavelength diye. I'm not going to do the calculations for you. Wavelength diye hui hai from air on a water surface. If m for water, m means the refractive index here is 1.33. Find the wavelength, frequency, and speed of the refracted light. Air, air. <laughs> sorry, air. My speed we know three times 10 to the power 8. I'm just going to write the data for you. So let's say velocity. So velocity. Uh, okay. So velocity in air. I know three times ten to the power eight. Huh? This is a known fact. This, this you have to honor this number. This number is much more than speed of light. It, it affects your life. So velocity in air. मुझे मिल गई. अब अब wavelength दी हुई है मुझे in air. Wavelength in air दी है five eighty nine nanometers. You can leave it in nanometers or you can convert it. नैनो का मतलब है टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन ठीक है तो मीटर में कन्वर्ट कर दिया अब इससे फ्रीक्वेंसी आ जाएगी कैसे फ्रीक्वेंसी आ जाएगी वी इज इकल टू एफ लैम आई कैन कैलकुलेट द फ्रीक्वेंसी है नाउ एंटर द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वाटर व्हेन यू गो टू वाटर रिमेंबर रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स सो रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इज स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन एयर ऑफ वैक्यूम डिवाइडेड बाई स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन द गिवन मीडियम सो ऑल यूर गोइंग टू डू इज म्यू इज इक्वल टू ये वेलोसिटी उठा दी थ्री टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर एट कर दिया डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय ये दिया वन पॉइंट सॉरी 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 वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दिया था डिवाइडेड बाय वेलोसिटी इन वाटर है ना इसकी जगह वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री रख दिया यहां से कैलकुलेट हो गया अब व्हाट्स अबाउट फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी डज नॉट चेंज सो व्हेन यू मेक द टेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी इन एयर इज गोइंग टू बी सेम एज फ्रीक्वेंसी इन वाटर अब वेवलेंथ का क्या करें वेवलेंथ का सुन लो म्यू इज इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी इन एयर डिवाइडेड बाय वेलोसिटी इन वाटर है ना ये तो ये तो डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स बट वॉट इज वेलॉसिटी वेलॉसिटी इज फ्रीक्वेंसी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वेव लैंड अब फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नॉट चेंजिंग सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नॉट चेंजिंग सो देन यू जस्ट राइट एफ फॉर दैट सो लैम डा वॉटर सो फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी कट हो गया सो जब म्यू जो है वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दैट इज ऑल्सो द रेशियो ऑफ द वेव लेंथ यू कैन प्लग इन द वेव लेंथ इन हेयर विच इज फाइव एट्टी नाइन नैनोमीटर्स एंड यू वुड गेट द वेव लेंथ इन वॉटर तो आई शो यू द सैम्पल हेयर How you can frame the answer for marks? है ना ये तो हो गया चलो second वाला I, I will show you actually. Now I'll show you this. ये एक बार देख लो इसको. है ना ये हो गया तुम्हारा. I'll go back to part B here. Part B दिखाऊंगा. But this is what I was trying to show you. So let's go to part B here. Part B में क्या दिया हुआ है? Again it looks like क्या ये सब radius of curvature and all that. Lens makers formula. कुछ चीजें हैं सम थिंग्स यू रियली हैव टू मेमोराइज है ना लेंस मेकर्स फॉर्म लॉ लेस यू कैन डिराइव इट वेरी फास्ट फ्यू थिंग्स यू शुड हैव ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स नहीं है तो यू कैन डिराइव इट ऑल्सो इट टेक्स लेस देन अ मिनट फॉर दिस बट लेट्स से यू रिमेंबर दिस 
प्लग एंड प्ले प्लग एंड प्ले करना है इसमें प्लग एंड प्ले फॉर्मूला पता है डेटा फिल इन करना है लेट्स फिल इन द डेटा हियर एंड सी हाउ इजी इट इज 1 बाय f फोकल लेंथ 20 सेंटीमीटर दिया हुआ है तो 1 बाय 20 इज इक्वल टू n माइनस वन एन इज पॉइंट फाइव फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फाइव माइनस वन इज पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव माइनस वन राइट दैट्स गोइंग टू गिव यू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव लेट मी कन्वर्ट टू फ्रैक्शन क्योंकि थोड़ा सा इजी हो जाएगा कैलकुलेशन करना दैट इज म्यू माइनस वन आ गया म्यू माइनस वन आ गया वन बाय आर वन माइनस वन बाय आर टू अब इट्स ए कॉन्वेक्स लेंस अब वो कह रहे हैं कि दोनों की जो है रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर सेम है बट यू स्टिल हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द साइन कन्वेंशन तो एक तो ये था इसका आर था तो इसका माइनस आर होगा बिकॉज इट्स ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस थिंग यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन ग्रेट टेन दिस इज आर दिस इज ऑल्सो आर बट दिस इज पॉजिटिव आर दिस इज नेगेटिव आर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी प्लग इन एज वन बाय आर एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस माइनस वन बाय आर तो माइनस माइनस वन बाय आर विल बिकम प्लस वन बाय आर सो वन बाय आर प्लस वन बाय आर गिवस यू टू बाय आर सो दैट इज टू बाय आर बस खत्म अब तो क्वेश्चन खत्म है यार क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन करो 55 टाइम्स 40 ओवर 100 तो ये कटा ये कटा 220 ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई टेन इज ट्वेंटी टू सेंटीमीटर्स डू नॉट फोगेट टू राइट यूनिट दैट्स अनादर मिस्टेक आई हैव सीन विद मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे डू ऑसम जॉब दे डू ऑल द कैलकुलेशन सारा फॉर फॉर्मूला लिख दिया डेड ऑल द कैलकुलेशन राइट नो मिस्टेक्स एंड वे यू फोगेट टू राइट द यूनिट्स उसके मार्क्स कटेंगे बोर्ड एग्जाम में रियली इंपॉर्टेंट यू मेक श्योर दैट यू राइट द द यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट अनलेस इट्स अ क्वान्टिटी लाइक लाइक रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स और रिलेटिव डेंसिटी वी डू नॉट हैव यूनिट्स यू आर सपोज टू राइट यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स दे प्लीज मेक श्योर सो लेट मी शो यू वन ऑफ द सैम्पल आंसर्स हेयर सो दिस वॉज द पार्ट वन हेयर सो पहला पार्ट ये हो गया तुमने स्पीड निकाल ली उसकी है ना फिर उसके बाद वेव निकाल ली फ्रीक्वेंसी सेम है अब इस पे ध्यान दो देखो R1 R2 लेकिन दोनों आर आर हैं तो वन इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव वन इज टेकन एज नेगेटिव बिकॉज साइन कन्वेंशन इधर पॉजिटिव है इसका नेगेटिव है 22 सेंटीमीटर्स तो दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे लुक लाइक लेंथी एंड ऑल दैट बट बिहाइंड द सीज तीन चार लाइन का होता है एंड देन यू हैव टू प्रेजेंट इट इन मोर नंबर ऑफ लाइन सो दैट यू कैन एक्सप्लेन वट्स गोइंग इन योर माइंड वेन यू स्क्रिबलिंग देर आर मेनी थिंग्स यू डू इन योर ब्रेन but here you have to present everything that is going on you have to write it down ab next question telescope ki baat kare a refractive telescope you know define its magnifying power draw a labeled ray diagram that's why i was saying you have to be master of the ray diagrams here define its magnifying power wo to piece of cake hai write two important limitations of this and there are three marks awarded for this question to pehle to ye ray diagram banana and then you don't memorize this please again you don't memorize it you try to understand when i said master ray diagrams i never meant you have to memorize them you have to understand all of them telescope has two parts one is the objective one is the eyepiece objective main isliye aise kar raha hu so that you can always remember that in your visual memory objective is huge why is it huge it is huge for multiple reasons but the main reason is because it is trying to capture the light from far distant objects itna dur star baitha pata nahi kitne light years away it's sending you light very tiny amount of light hai na pani gir raha tip tip hai na then you take a wide bucket ज्यादा पानी भर लोगे उसमें राइट इफ इट इज रेनिंग यू टेक अट वाइडर कंटेनर यू गेट मोर वॉटर इन टू दिस छोटी सी बॉटल रख दी यू नॉट गोइंग टू गेट एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ इट दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वॉट इज हैपनिंग है टाइनी अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट वेरी लो इंटेंसिटी यू टेक अ बिग बकेट एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू कैन कलेक्ट एज मच लाइट एज यू कैन ऑब्जेक्टिव इज नॉट मैग्निफाइंग इट्स ट्राइंग टू कलेक्ट एज मच लाइट एज इट कैन एंड दैट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी ह्यूज एंड बिकॉज द ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट इन्फिनिटी the image is formed at the focal point of the objective see this is fo as in objective ka focal length to uska jo object ka image bana so isme to kuch yaad hi nahi karna na object is coming from uh, object is infinity so the image will be formed at the focal plane ban gayi yahan pe image ab humne eyepiece rakh diya yahan pe eyepiece ke liye to ye hi object hai na it is not able to see the actual star this is the object now when this is the object and let's say this is the focal point of the eyepiece remember when the object is between the focal point and the pole or the optical center in this case 
इट्स गोइंग टू बी वर्चुअल इमेज वर्चुअल इमेज बन गई बिकॉज द ऑब्जेक्ट इट सेल्फ वॉज उल्टा यू गेट अपसाइड डाउन इमेज बट दैट डजेंट मैटर सर्कुलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैं सन की बात हो रही है स्टार की बात हो रही है विच इज इट सेल्फ हैवनली बॉडीज दीज आर ओनली स्पेरिकल राइट स्फियर को उल्टा भी कर दिया हाउ डज इट मैटर सो दिस इज द फाइनल इमेज so that's all you do you don't memorize these you just try to make them yourself now magnifying power magnifying power kya magnifying is kitna na mil raha hai the leverage jaise lever hota hai lever mein kitna mil raha hai compared to how much you apply so basically if this was not there you would have got alpha hai na if let's say there was no telescope at all you would have the magnification what was the angle subtended on your eye alpha what are you getting now is beta so you're getting this and you would have got that so that is the magnifying power that is all beta divided by alpha na isne itna kar diya wo itna hi tha leverage kitna that's it now limitations limitations couple of limitations here first of all you're going to get aberrations chromatic and spherical both of them i would advise that you study a little about these two because ek mark ka question kabhi aa gaya to you're going to be you don't want to lose lose these marks secondly jab humne bada isko bana diya aperture hai na very difficult glass objects hain high precision needed very high precision needed and make sure these are really heavy heavy lenses and that is a big limitation here explain the phenomenon of total internal reflection my friends we have already done that just now so let's say there is a ray of light going from denser to rarer medium visualize karo dimag mein denser to rarer medium it bends away from normal it bends away from normal अगर अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल हो रही है तो इफ यू कीप इंक्रीजिंग द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस वो और अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल हो रही है एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस दैट एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन विल बी सो मच दैट इट विल बिकम 90 डिग्रीज एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड द क्रिटिकल एंगल व्हेन यू हैव एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस मोर देन दिस क्रिटिकल एंगल द लाइट इज कमिंग बैक इन द सेम मीडियम दिस फिनोमिन इज कॉल्ड टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन यू शुड बी कंफर्टेबल विद द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स जो हम यूज करते हैं इंटरनेट के लिए दैट्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट मिराज सो मेनी एप्लीकेशन इन देयर सो यू शुड बी कंफर्टेबल एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस लाइक दिस दिस इज जस्ट अ सैम्पल माई फ्रेंड्स यूर नॉट सपोज टू मेमोराइज दैम ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो वेन द रे ऑफ लाइट इज इंसिडेंट एट एन एंगल ग्रेटर देन द क्रिटिकल एंगल फॉर दैट सी क्रिटिकल एंगल क्या होता है क्रिटिकल एंगल इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मीडिया अगर ग्लास और एयर के लिए फोर्टी एट पॉइंट एट एट डजेंट मैटर इट्स अ ग्लोबल नंबर दोनों में से कुछ भी मीडियम चेंज कर दिया इट्स अ डिफरेंट नंबर बिकॉज यू गो बाय स्नेल्स लॉ वॉट यू डू इज अगेन वॉट आई डिड अर्लियर वॉज आई मेक दिस रे ऑफ लाइट गो एट सम एंगल एंड मेक श्योर दैट गोज एट नाइनटी सो वॉट आई वुड डू इज refractive index of denser multiplied by sine of this angle which is critical angle is equal to refractive index of rarer multiplied by sine 90 i'll write it one more time so let's say hai na so refractive index uh, kahan gaya ha yahan yeah, gaya so refractive index of denser wait right? that that's that's refractive index so denser it multiplied by sine in that medium is equal to refractive index in rarer times sine of 90 <laughs> to is sab ko simplify kara to critical angle ye aa gaya memorization ki zarurat hi nahi hai snell's law lagaya hai that's it how simple is that So I'll see you tomorrow with wave optics. Do not miss that session because ray optics you've already done in grade ten. Wave optics you have not done. So that's a completely new chapter in grade twelve. Please make sure you see that tomorrow. Please join me. And before you leave, make sure you also subscribe and press the bell icon and share this video with everybody. Not that just the video, the channel, so that your friends, relatives, schoolmates, neighbors, they can also get advantage of the free education here. Also, there is an app that we launched recently. Make sure you install that because you are going to get the PDF of all this as notes in the app. So I'll see you tomorrow. I thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow with Wave Optics. Bye bye.